So, um, the frequency, so obviously we're on CTAF, we're going to go to Fredericksburg. I'd like to get flight following there. Uh, I'm going to show you how to kind of, how to use it. That's Houston Center, the frequency is 135, or excuse me, yeah, 135, or 132.35. So let's put this guy on 132.35. One thirty-two point three five. Three five zero. Perfect. So all we have to do is just flip flop it whenever we're out of this area. Okay. And then the frequency we can put on standby. We can put another weather frequency there. We can just look at the sectional and figure out exactly what the AWOS or ASOS frequency is and Gillespie me looking at a sectional. One two zero point zero. So okay. Easy peasy. Yep. Okay. And then once we're there, we just flip flop it so we can hear the weather and know what runways to expect. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the runways right. and everything there. Um, from there, we can go ahead. I'll play a little bit and I'll let you. Sh I'll show you the GPS. So I always yeah, do direct. direct. Yeah. And then what's, it's what's the ICAO? Tango 82. So all right. Tango. stuff. Um, other than that, I'll, I'll show you the rest as far as like the radio calls and stuff go for uh, Houston Center. But we, let's see, everything, what was that read about a 340? Yep. yep. Yeah, I got it set. Okay. So, so I'd say, say uh, burn it, uh, Archer 81891 eight, departing right. runway one. And then since we're to the south. Well, it'd be a little different. Since it's right traffic here, we can actually just depart on the right down one. So I'd say burn it traffic, Archer 81891. Departing runway one, we'll be making a uh, downwind departure on runway one. Burn it. Okay. And, but let's, before we make our call, we can, we can go ahead and just line up. So, all right, all right. And then we can make our call. Since it's uncontrolled, I don't really have to do too much. So I always like to come over here and look on final, look on the runway, make sure everything's clear. Final at base look pretty clear, and yeah. nobody's on the runway from I, what I can see. So I guess we'll make a radio call. Okay. Burn in traffic, Archer 81891, departing runway 1, right traffic, burn in traffic. Okay, <laughs> then once, once we're up there, we'll yeah. just say we'll make a downwind departure. Alright. Okie dokie, let's do it! It looks like this guy. And oh, function. yeah. Function, I know, it's a little new yeah, airplane. Reset, yeah. yeah. Uh, That's okay. And since the winds are coming from the west, we'll have some aileron corrections because we know it's going to be a crosswind takeoff. So ailerons to the left. Right. There you go. Okay. Full throttle. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. High density altitude today. Like 3,000 something. He doesn't climb as well when it's a high density altitude or perform that well either. And then, so like in Georgetown, it used to be 1,300 was 500 feet AGL, but since it's a higher elevation here, or just uh, 1,800. Oh, 1,800. Yeah, we'll just. Uh, We'll turn the crosswind at 1800 and we'll announce it. We'll say right crosswind for runway one. Pretty up over in this. Oh, there yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's 
that's real nice. Something different. Very hilly. Alright. So, yeehaw, bumpy, yeah. Turn, turn in traffic, Archer 8189 or 1, turning right across the fence. Stop picking you up, Patrick. When you do it, I know you're, it's a different hand place, but you're used to being up here. Just kind of, yeah. Go ahead and make your call. Burning traffic, Archer 81891, right crosswind for runway 1. Burning traffic. Perfect. All right, and yeah, we can probably turn the down one now. Once we're on the downwind, our call will be on uh, right downwind, runway one. We'll be departing the downwind to the south. Okay. Oh boy, there's somebody else here. Hold on. I don't see him. Burner traffic, Archer 81891 is uh, right midfield downwind, runway one. We'll uh, be departing the downwind to the south. Burner traffic. I heard somebody announce. I think that was them on the runway. Well, oh, I don't. Why did he say it's a down one? I specifically heard him say down one. Let's keep climbing though. We're going to okay. climb up to uh, 4,500. Okay. And then once we get a little further away from Burnett, we're going to contact Houston Center. following comes in handy, right? Oh yeah, second pair of eyes in the sky. Because my traffic already failed on this uh, piece of crap. So how high up do we go before we ask for flight following? Let's go about 3,000 and then I'll, we're going to, eh, we can go ahead and switch frequencies. Go ahead and flip-flop the frequencies for me. Alrighty, so this is Houston Center now. This right. is a, your this is your radio call. It's, you're just going to say, Houston Center, Archer 818901. You're, all you're going to do is cold call. After you say that, they'll say, go ahead. And then you're just going to say, yeah, uh, Houston Center, Archer 818901 is at, 3,000 something, it's climbing to 4,500, uh, about three miles south of Burnett Airport, with my flight following to Tango 82. Okay. Let's go ahead and give him a cold call. All right. Houston Center, Archer 818901. I think you stepped on it by accident. That's okay. Just wait a minute. Up there, Chair, uh, 335, you have the field in sight. That's the volume. Uh-huh. Chair, 335, Roger, cancellation. Yeah, traffic climbing out. Should be no faster off the right side, about 2 o'clock, 2 miles out of 3200 climbing. And we'll climb, we'll call him again. Not a yeah. problem. Now, Houston Center, Archer 8189. Patrick, uh, it's, when you're doing this, just kind of... Not, don't mash it, but kind of come down a little bit more firm. I don't, I don't get it. Just kind of, let me see your finger. Ready? Yeah. Houston Center, Archer 
that's kind of a... Where's the squelch on this? I think that could be part of the problem, too. Nah, it ain't the squelch, I promise. But keep talking. Test, 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 test. Uh, is that uh, 13, it's right here, Patrick. You want to turn it whatever direction right. you want. Uh, it, uh, oh, it's cutting out a little. So we got to make it more sensitive, so turn it to the right? Yeah, test, 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 test. All right. Better? Yeah, okay. The Charles Coast has run this way very much. Uh, Sierra, Zulu, and Tango, Sex Train, State Bay, Ohio, it's my first week. I did not understand a word he said. But anyways, we'll just fly this magenta line. Remember 81891, you're out of contact east of the Lano VOR, uh, 28 miles. The Lano altimeter is 3001, say your type aircraft and destination. Here you say, we're at BA 28, uh, we're at 4,000, climbing to 4,500, like flight following, you're doing Tango 82. All right, 18901, right. Okay, coming up on 4,500. Jet 147, Houston Center, Center, maintain 7,000 in the Austin, 1,500, Okay. Alrighty, Patrick. Um, I'm going to recalculate this one more time for you. You're tracking uh, 222. Two, two. It wants you to track 231. Okay. Alrighty. So we're at 4,500, we'll, uh, we'll just stay at 4,500, level off. That's a 1399, you can see a arrival, landing north, the off canal, yeah, altimeter is 2,995. Down, down, fuel mixture, fuel pump, and lean belt. Aha, fuel now up. for cruise, it's going to be a little different. Fuel yep. up. Fuel pump off, and lean the mixture. Verify 61 Bravo Charlie, contact officer approach, 1,195. You want engine roughness, and then put it in an inch. Did you hear any roughness? A little. Did Do it you? a little bit more. Now, put it in. There you go. See right. that? Yeah, I caught it. All right. Number 8, 8, 8, Tango Fox, I used to set her to send a maintain one 3,000 on OL altimeter. We'll stay at 4,500. Uh, pull some of that throttle back. Hey, Tango Fox, I'll 1 to 3, 13,000. Yeah, if you need some of that trim, keep us fresh, straight level. Contact rate approach 120.07. Alrighty. There's Horseshoe Bay Airport right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, believe it or not, this will be your uh, first cross country. Normally from Georgetown, it would have been, you know, right. from Georgetown to Lano, Fredericksburg and back, or vice versa, it doesn't matter which way you go. Yeah, I just wanted to do something fun. Yeah, scenic. Yeah, absolutely. We haven't done that yet. And I'm sure they'll hand us off another frequency here shortly, but for right now, until they call me, I'm just going to keep farting along. Who do they hand us off to? Uh, another Houston Center. Oh, <laughs> they cover like half of Texas. Seems like. Yeah, we, should, we might be able to see. Normally, I guess when I'm taking off of uh, Lano and going to Fredericksburg, that I'll be able to see, uh, what should we call it, uh, uh, Enchanted Rock. But I don't know if we'll be able to That's see Enchanted Rock Airport. Yeah, yeah, it's real nice. Every single box right there is 10 degrees right back to your defense. This is where the rich people go for yeah, it, right? Yeah, right? All their lake houses and everything. A little resort there in the golf course. Oh, yeah. United 701, Frederick Lake. Yeah, but I, I, I like getting on flight following because it's it's really helpful. It's a, it's a useful tool. Right. I agree. And you can even see behind our wingtip, you'll see Lake Buchanan. Yep. That's where Lano is. Yeah, yeah, right. 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 yeah, just on the other side of it, yeah. Right. So if we lost an engine right here, we'd be all set. Got that yeah, absolutely. Right yeah, we could definitely make that. Even use the the north runway. Frank 47, Eastern Center, climb and maintain, audible 230. Got a ground speed of a 107. Distance 32 miles. I don't know, he might keep us 
on this frequency. Arcana 4 zero for direct flood. Maybe. If not, then once we get a little bit closer, we'll uh, put in some more frequencies. So they're always doing something, always, you know, getting ahead of the airplane. Right. Can you see the screen all right? November A1, yeah. 891, yeah. radar contact, 5 miles northwest of the EUC at 4,500, San Antonio, 700, 2995. So to respond to that, 2995, 891. 2995, 891. <laughs> American 1262, use the center, Alright, so we'll change the altimeter to 2995 because you know we're changing. Nope, other one. 
122.7 is the CTAF, so we can change 122.8 to 122.7. Okay, we already have that, so let's go ahead and flip-flop frequencies on the COM2, and let's monitor and listen to uh, AWOS. Okay. There you go. Gillespie County Airport, automated weather observation 2105, Zulu, weather, wind, 330 at 6, visibility 10, clear below 1, 2000, temperature 2, 7 Celsius, 2.9, density altitude 3,500. Airport information, it is right traffic for runway 14 and left traffic for runway 32. If calm, use runway 14. Also, use caution. On April 9th, the south 700 feet of the terminal ramp will be closed from 9 local to 3 local. There is limited parking available near the FBO terminal building. This is for the Aviation Career Day. All right. It looks like we're there's three two and one four. So what? we need to go three two. Okay, and it's left traffic, so yep. think about it. If three two is over here, right? I need to obviously land towards the north. Right. Right. And the way that I see it, it's not going to be on that road. Is that we probably should cross over the field. So this is a good opportunity for us to cross over the field and do a teardrop entry or left traffic. So. Well, pattern altitude here is 2,700. I want to cross over the field at 3,700, so that gives me a thousand foot separation from people Better in the traffic pattern. So my radio call would be once I'm about 10 miles or so, I will probably cancel flight ball here in a second. Never made it. Hang up on I need to change. And I would say LSB traffic or train one eight nine one is 10 miles to the north east. Gonna be crossing over the field at 3,700 for a teardrop entry for left midfield downwind runway 340 LSB. I know it's a lot, but if you screw if you screw it up, you get you can you can say it again. It's okay. So I don't get it. Why are we going on the because think right about it. If it's if it's left, why are we going on the right side? Yeah, because we're going on the right to cross over. We're going. We're crossing over the field, and we're making a right turn for the left traffic. So this is the left downwind, left base, left final. Instead of us having to go all the way around here and then cutting everybody off, it's more uniform. It makes more sense if we cross over the field and do a teardrop. When you when you do it, it'll it'll make a lot more sense. All right. Yeah. What's that? We're going to take care of it. I just made it code for my falling and uh, made this frequency. Climb in a little. That's all right. We just push that nose down slightly. American 2013, contact Houston Center 132.4. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this right here is a pipeline, an underground pipeline that goes all the way, I forget where it goes, but it goes way over there. Think of my driver for sure, I for cancellation in the air, this frequency, or on the ground through radio. Radio service terminated, change to positive frequency, approved, good day. I remember anything about the right to cancellation, your seat, come on, be far. About 16 miles away, yeah, we'll just, we'll get a little bit closer than ball. And then this is what I would say, I'd say, you know, I'd say, Houston Center, Archer, 8901, we're just going to cancel, we're going to cancel flight following at this time. Let's, let's just keep it simple like that. Even if we don't have the airport inside, I know there's the city of Fredericksburg. I know the airport sits right behind the city. We'll definitely be able to see it. Not to mention I have the GPS that I'm cheating off of as well. Right. Number eight, two, seven, Lima, pop off, like let's see. Number eight, two, seven, Lima, pop off, clock, uh, four, six, uh, clock, four, six, five, six, side in. Yeah, this airplane, I like this one a lot. It just seems like it flies.
flies easier. Yeah, it's nice. It's just like the I-54. Yeah, it's got a bigger GPS. E exactly. I mean, they're both larger tanks. Nothing to do different about it. Area at 3, this looks a little bit more cleaner and everything else. Yeah.
Where's the airport? It's just right here. It's like three miles away. Let's make another radio call. Is that it? Right down there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. I was we're close. Late. No, we're right. close. All right. Uh, You'll do mountains, right? Make sure you stay at your altitude at 3,700. Oh, yeah. I'd rather you make a radio call first. Gillespie traffic, special, and final runway 3 2. Touch and go. Fixing 2 miles. Gillespie traffic, Archer 891, 2 miles. Runway 3 2, crossing over midfield for a left downwind. Runway 3 2, Gillespie traffic. Watch your altitude. Now let's go ahead and do a gums check. Alright, go on, mixture, undercarriage, seat belt. Okay. Yeah, yeah this, this airport, it kind of sneaks up on you, but I mean, obviously the dead giveaway is the city of uh, Fredericksburg, and you know it sits just right behind the city in a corner. But yeah, well, you see it out your window? Um, You'll see it here yeah, in a second. Yeah. Get back to your altitude. There you go. You need a little bit of trim. Because remember, we pulled some of that power back. It wants to automatically. We had it trimmed out perfectly when we decelerated a little bit. That does want it to go down. And then your next radio call will be over the runway at 3,700. Teardrop, left midfield down with 3 2. I don't know how to do one of these, but well, I'm going to figure it out. I'll teach you. All right, we're like right on almost top of it. over it. Yeah, might as well. Left traffic, Archer 891, over the midfield for our tear drop left downwind for runway 32. Left traffic. Perfect. All right, so now Patrick, yeah. here's the runway. Let's go that way a little bit. Just yeah, just a little bit. Can I do that? Or? Not yet. I like to go out here about three miles, and then I like to turn it around because if I turn it around immediately. I'd probably get in the way of another aircraft, so I wanted to give them a little bit of time, so I'm entering on a 45. The reason we turn, you know, a little bit this way, I'm kind of, you know, and I'm going to make a right turn to enter the left midfield downwind. Because I made a left turn to enter left midfield downwind, it just wouldn't look right. Right. Are we doing a full stop here, or touch and go? Yeah, full stop. Okay. But we're on a left downwind for 3-2. Aha, uh -huh, not quite. But well, we were, I mean, we crossed over them. We, were, we crossed over it, but we were a thousand feet way too high. Right, but I guess what I understand is how do we get back to left downwind? Because you're doing a teardrop. And then in the teardrop turn, you're descending to pattern altitude. So that by the time that you get to, uh, that by the time you get to the 45 angle of the midfield downwind, You'll be at a perfect uh, pattern okay. altitude. So we're going to cross over the runway twice? No. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, well, trust me, when you do it, you'll, it'll, it'll make a lot more sense. All right, all right. Just, just trust me. Uh, Keep going cool. straight. I'm learning something, so. Yeah. All righty. Um, let's actually change the mix, or the, the fuel now. Might as well. All right. Gas pump is verified on? Yep. on left bank. Okay. And let's go ahead and let's start a slow turn to the, the right. right. Uh -huh. oh, okay. This is our teardrop now. And a, a descending turn? Sure. So we'll take a little bit of power out. Maybe a little bit more so we're not too, too fast. There you go. And then here in a second you'll be able to see uh, the airport. So now I want you to your radio call. I want you to say, Gillespie traffic, Archer 8901, 3 mile 45, left midfield downwind, runway 32. See the airport from here? That's why we're making it a right. slow turn. I think I can the traffic, the special turning downwind, runway 32. Yeah, we're just kind of going out oh, here I really, can. really slow. Descending down to 2,700. I got you. We were looping the... Yeah, I was thinking we were looping the other. No, one. no. Yeah, I was going to say, that'd be, man, that'd be hard to do. Yeah. All right, let's go make a radio call. All right. Gillespie so traffic, 8189 or 1, entering uh, three miles to the 
stop and entering a left midfield down mid for runway 32. Okay. That's good. That's okay. Oh, 
<laughs> we'll see if we can just put in yeah. a little bit of rudder. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Always save it by just picking it up. Oh, okay. And we'll roll. Let's not. We're not gonna yeah. make Charlie. Well, whatever the next one is. That other guy. Yeah, he can just go around. So they're being sarcastic to us. Uh, traffic no, I think it was the guy that was taxiing out. Way three two for a full stop. Alright, yeah, let's go off of Bravo. I'm not going to make a radio call, though, until we're clear. Because then all of our radio calls say clear runway 32, taxiing to the ramp. Gillespie traffic, let's go to the ramp. Final runway 32, well, we'll stop. stop right here, and then we'll okay. make our radio call. Gillespie traffic. 81891, clear of runway 32, taxi to the ramp, Gillespie traffic. Alrighty, let's uh, get the checklist, we'll do a after landing checklist, and then we'll taxi. There's nobody around, so... Yeah, no, I was doing that, so because we're gonna, we'll be taking this one instead of like in Georgetown where we kind of right. angle it. Okay, electric fuel pump. Pump. We don't need to change that because we're going back out, right? Oh, oh wait, it's on standby right now. Yeah, no, this one automatically does it. Oh, crap. Uh, that was bad, right? No, that's okay. okay. No, it, it was on altitude the whole time. Oh, it just awesome. automatically, it, it's kind of a nice transponder. Yeah. Oh, didn't know that. Alrighty. Alright. time we'll have to uh, come over here and go to the diner oh yeah you just got to catch it at the right time because right now it's closed oh yeah yeah we'll have to do our cross country early in the day so that yeah definitely Let's traffic pit special clear runway three two nice little airport oh yeah i got a lot of traffic here believe it or not Bomber burger. That sounds good. Oh yeah. Have you had it? No, I haven't. <laughs> cool little diner. And all the times I've been here, I've only been there once too. A well, cool deal. Awesome. Yeah, yeah this was fun. Yeah. I mean, I'm learning a lot. Oh, a little, absolutely. A little overwhelming at first. Yeah, not too bad. All right, so now we'll make this radio call. We'll say taxiing from the ramp to runway 32, Gillespie. Gillespie traffic, Archer 81891, taxiing from the ramp to runway 32, Gillespie traffic. Okay. Traffic, Bonanza 2105, Lima, taking runway 32 for departure. We'll exit uh, straight out, practice GPS 1 for low approach, uh, and uh, with a procedure turn. Alrighty. Yeah, I think on the way back, we, we'll uh, we'll skip flight following, but yeah, I mean, that's it's, it's pretty easy. You just tell them what you want. Yeah. You don't want to do flight following? Man, nah. we can, we can, it doesn't matter. What al altitude going back where you got to go 5,500, right, or 3,500? Uh, you can probably do 3,500, get away with it. Okay. Sometimes they can, yeah, that altitude, yeah, they, they should be able to pick you up on their radar screen. That's a cool detail. Oh, yeah. See, I'd get a Bonanza, I don't know if I'd get a Vito though. No, but they're cool. Oh yeah, definitely. They're definitely difficult to fly, at least in the simulator. Yeah. I imagine in real life even more. Pretty much a headwind. So everything yep. as far as frequencies look pretty good, ex you know. So you have us routed back? No, I can. So I just, well, we'll come to a complete stop and then I'll let you do it. All right. KM CQ or uh, KBMQ Bravo K Mike K Quebec. K
Uh, before we make a radio call, let's go ahead and set up the GPS. All right. Bravo, Mike, Quebec. One zero clear below one two thousand temperature two seven Celsius dew point niner altimeter two niner 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 remark yeah, niner, niner, niner. density altitude three two niner 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 uh, other way very close to uh, three zero 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 okay uh, mixture is rich fuel pump on and that let's go ahead and put that on altitude transponder. And everything else is pretty much set up. Uh, right. We'll go ahead and make a radio call. I don't see anybody on final, do you? No. And we'll no, just say, can you hear me? You got you loud and clear. Right. And we'll just tell them, yeah, we're departing runway 32. And departing runway 32, departure to the north. Okay. We'll have to be, we'll have to be traffic 818901. Departing runway 32, departing to the north. We'll have to be traffic. Okay. Let's do it. All right. All right, heels on the floor. Let's do it. Oh yeah, just a headwind, that's it. Yeah. Airspeed is alive.
got about 400 feet or so to go. Our track is looking pretty good. I like to recalculate it every once in a while. Yeah, this GPS super, super easy to program. Little to no effort at all. I think over there is Enchanted Rock. Or no, it's right there, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, yeah. That's, that's definitely Enchanted Rock. The brown spot? Uh-huh, yeah, okay. right there, the, yeah, the tall one. Yeah. About 3,500, do we have to change the mixture? Eh, might as well save gas. And then, gas is on full tank, and the garage is down. Make sure we already leaned for cruise, fuel pump. Let's go ahead and shut that fuel pump off. Alright. And, uh, seatbelts are on. And we're just farting along.
Everyone's got their personal cinema. Oh, okay. Hey, I like fine. that. I like that. Mine's commercial. I wonder I want the number of hours. That's right. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. I just feel like it's a lot of responsibility, right? With 40 hours of flight time. I'd rather have 240 hours of flight time. Yeah. I don't know. Call it weird or whatever. No, oh, hey, you, everybody, I've got my personal minimums too. Like flying with you guys, I feel totally safe and comfortable. I would, so at 40, I'm going to have my license, but just me and the plane is one thing, but I don't know. I just watch too many of those airplane <laughs> things, and I see the stupid stuff that people do. Right. And they kill their families, you know. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be one of those dumb guys that takes IFR and it hasn't even been rated for it. Somebody was telling me a story. I forget what flight it was today about somebody. He got his private pilot's license in a Cirrus. He was 17, so apparently his parents were loaded. Obviously, if you're going to get your private in a Cirrus. Yeah. And then two or three days later, rented a, a 172 and uh, took his family. Number one, it was overweight. Number two, never flown in that aircraft before. And just, just yeah, it was a bad deal. Victoria Jet Center earlier, 992. All right, since we're not going to get on flight five, we'll just do, uh, we'll switch over to 122.8, so at least we have that in standby. And then once we get halfway, we'll flip-flop it. Uh, well, we're on 122.7. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like to keep it halfway, and then I've got a 45 mile total distance, so about 22 miles, we'll switch it to burn in traffic. So 122.8. Uh huh. Why? Why? Yeah, what's 122.8? 122.8 is CTAF and Vernon. Oh, Vernon, Vernon. 03, Earth 30, RNAV. Vernon, Vernon, Vernon. Well, but I like to, you want us to try to switch it halfway through. So we'll, oh. we'll monitor this just in case we hear anybody coming in to uh, Vernon, or excuse me, Gillespie, that we need to kind of look around. We're not, but 15 miles away from Fredericksburg. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, I... I'm sorry. What were you, what were you I thinking thought 122.7 was for... No, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. close, but... Only just like 21 off. Uh, climbing through about 2,900 feet. And then we still have that, so we don't need to listen to uh, AWOS and Gillespie. But so what we can do is just flip-flop that. Right. And then once we get a little closer, we'll monitor and figure out which what the winds are doing and uh, burn it. County traffic, Dean off 335 Alpha Sierra is turning left downwind, runway 324 left downwind, departure to Lester County. Dean off, okay. Yeah, that was nice. I've got the Dean off 100, 300 in my simulator. Oh, nice. I have a, one of my buddies from college, I think that's what he flies in Dallas, is the Dean off. Yeah, those are really good. Nice. Traffic 337 Mike is. Uh, See on your wing tip? Yeah. A little flaring turn and see it. Nice. I like this little. I've never seen that before where these two hills, there's like a little gap in between. Oh, them. yeah. Yeah, let's go fly between them. Yeah. <laughs> Man, and I could. I could that's way out of my comfort zone. Yeah, no. like Star Wars, right? Yeah, right? Oh, man. Or Bush really, Hills, really, right here. It's like, for me, I, I would do that one day, I just, still, I mean, I'm still going to get more experience. About a four mile, yeah. uh, low approach for one to four, and I'm going to sidestep it about another mile into a left downwind for three, two, uh, full stop. Yeah, 
here and one of other things.
Actually getting a decent ground speed now. It was 126 earlier, now it's 124. I'll take it though, yeah. If you look on the ground, I mean, uh, looks pretty good. Block our traffic, Cessna 20264, heading left base for 36. Block our Cessna, left to your hatch inside. Roger, Taylor traffic.
No, similar to Taylor. 10, 7, 5, 3. And then for the, in this case, one mile would be like final runway 1.
different yeah a lot different than uh, Taylor for sure yeah we'll get off of Charlie 